Hola, hola, hola. Hello and welcome. Welcome to My Bed Journey by Dr. Melissa Juba. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Comenzamos! Hello, hello. This is Melissa one more time. Today we're going to be talking about what I did to pass the step number three of the ECFDG, which is the BCSE or Basic and Clinical Science Examination. We're going to be going over what is the BCSC, how to schedule the BCSC, what's the price of the BCSC, and where you can study and prepare for your examination. The BCSC, or Basic and Clinical Science Examination, is a key exam for vets who want to practice in the United States. It is designed to assess the basic science knowledge needed to practice veterinary medicine in the United States. It is a computer-based examination lasting about four hours and consists of 225 questions. Once you complete the step number two of the ECFDG, if you don't know what the step number two is, please visit my previous video. Then, once you complete the step number two of the ECFDG, you're going to be able to apply to the BCSC through the ECFDG online portal. The ECFDG will review your information and double check that you qualify to take this examination. After that, they will send you an email with all the information you need to schedule your examination, which is usually at a Prometrics testing system office. The fee to apply for the BCSC is $220. You can pay this via credit card when submitting the application through the ECFDG or with a money order or cashier's check sent directly to the ECFDG after completing the online application. The fee is good for one test only and is non-refundable. Score report. The score report, either passing or failing, will be automatically reported to the ECFDG and they will inform you via email and through the online platform. Once you pass this step, you're going to be able to take either the CPE, which is the step number four of the ECFEG, or the NAVLI, which is the National Veterinary Licensure Examination. You will receive your results around 20 business days post-examination. Even though they have a weird scoring interpretation scale in their website that I personally do not understand. You will only receive a pass or fail notice. Then only failing candidates will receive a report with a failing scale score between 300 and 579 and diagnostic indicators for the domains included in the examination. These diagnostic indicators are intended to help identify the areas that you did, did good or bad, and they will help you prepare better for the next examination. The BCSC is offered via computer at Prometric testing sites throughout the year on a continuous testing basis. Candidates will be able to choose their preferred date after receiving the confirmation email from the ECFBG and the scheduling letter. Although testing will be offered throughout the year, you may only test one time with each application. And you will have to take the test within 365 days from the date of your BCSC application. If you fail the, e the BCSC, then you will have to wait about four months in order to take your retake. And you would have to pay again $220 for a new examination. BCSC content. 
you're going to see questions such as multiple choice, matching, drag and drop, and hotspot. You have to answer all the questions because your score will be based on the number of correct answers that you mark, not the wrong answers. 25 of the 225 questions will be a pretest questions. They won't be scored, but you won't know which ones they are. You can find a sample questions from the Prometrix uh, office in this link that I'm going to leave down below if you just want to take a look of how the questions are going to be. You have to read the question carefully and then answer with the best option. Here is a table that I got from the ECFDG website. It has all the contents of the BCSE and approximately the number of questions that you would have in each category. They will assess your knowledge in areas such as anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, microbiology, epidemiology, radiology, and more. This is just basically to demonstrate that you have similar knowledge as a new graduate in the United States. Yes, but now that I know all of this, how do I prepare to pass my exam in the first try? This is easy. I use Suku Review, Bean, Google, Plums, and the Merck Veterinary Manual. Suku Review is an online platform that provides practice questions of the main topics included in the BCSE. They have questions and also provide the answers with the explanations behind it. They have study materials about those topics and also they allow you to take a timed practice test. They also offer some live webinars, usually on Sundays, uh, where they are going to be explaining different topics. You can access free resources in their website, such as videos or the question of the day. Here is an example of the question of the day. And then if you scroll all the way down, you're going to be able to sign up for the question of the day. That way you get them in your email daily. Even though you can access free resources, I encourage you to sign up. That way you can also monitor your progress and see where you need to study more. They have different packages with different prices. The one that I took was the six months premium package, which, which was $459. They really wanna help because I remember that when I was prepping for my test, I needed a 20 day extension and they extended it for free. Now, what I did to pass. Most people go over these questions and they fall in the mistake of memorizing the questions and the answers. They see their progress and they say, I'm ready. But that is wrong. Don't do that. Instead, take the questions as part of a topic. Study those topics in Merck, Bin, Google, or any other source you have, and then test yourself with those questions. The topics are similar to those in the exam, but the questions are not. So if you memorize question answer and didn't understand the question and why that answer is the best as compared to the others, I don't think you will pass. So try to study those questions, test yourself, and actually try to learn and enjoy what you're doing. Because if you prep really good for this test, I can tell you that it will be a lot of help for your next step. The BCSE, it is a time test. So try to practice at home tracking your time. That way, the day of your test, with the anxiousness that you will have, your body does it for you. 
If you get stuck in one question, choose one, flag it, and continue. That way, if you have time, you can always come back and think the question. But if you do not, at least you didn't leave it empty and there is a chance that you chose the correct one. Do not change your first option unless you are 100% sure that the other answer is the correct one. But if you're not sure, do not change it. There is a higher chance that by changing it, you are going to choose the incorrect one. Because even though you think you don't know, you do. The answer is embedded in your sub subconscious, so trust what you chose first. When I was prepping for my test, I was working full time. So I committed to take two hours of my days and I studied for six months. This was what worked for me, but everybody has different ways to study. So commit to doing something that works for you. Remember, this is a process. I studied for six months, then I took my test, and let me tell you that I felt I didn't pass. I remember calling one of my friends crying that I didn't think I passed. I was so anxious, stressed, and nervous because I wasn't really sure if what I chose in the questions were the best answer for them. Do not punish yourself. Commit to study however works best for you and trust in the process. You will do good. It is completely normal to feel this way. If it happened to you, you're not alone. Next time, trust in the process and recognize and celebrate what you just did. You survived a very stressing four-hour test. So remember, after you pass step number two, apply online in your ECFEG profile to the BCSE, pay the fee, schedule your exam, study however works for you, and let me know in the comments how you did. I will leave down below all the links with all the information in this video. Keep going, because you are amazing and you will do good. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications from new video. Check my social media, and if you have any questions, leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and until my next video. Spending time chasing